Welcome to Incredible Idaho. Hi, I'm Margo Hemingway, and I'm filling in for my dad, Jack. Tonight, we're going to whet your appetite with a bit of a fishtail. Fish! <laughs> He's a hot little bugger. It seems my dad can never get enough of fishing. Tonight, he takes you back to the banks of the Snake River, hunting for steelhead. But this time, he's armed with a wide assortment of ammunition. We have a lot more equipment here than uh, anybody would need to use in one day, and the reason we have it is that we're gonna show you a little bit today about the different techniques and the different types of fly fishing equipment that are used for catching steelhead, or at least casting to them. <laughs> this particular rod is a type that is commonly used in Norway and even uh, England and Scotland for salmon. And this one is 17 and a half feet long. And it casts a uh, double tapered, uh, 11 weight fly line. In the old days when the, a lot of very large flies were used, these big rods were really important. But I figured I could learn to do it when I saw pictures of the, of the Queen of England uh, doing it. And she's just a little lady and she had a, she had a rod just about that long. And I uh, figured <coughs> she can catch a salmon on the D with this kind of tackle. Maybe old Hem can do it too. <laughs> The action of a good roll cast needs to be practiced quite a bit. And when you know you've got it, is when something happens called the white mouse. <laughs> the fly comes along the surface and just does a drag and it sort of drags against the surface until the roll picks it up and that thing helps to catapult the line uh, forward. Spay casting was developed on the Spay River. It's also called Welsh casting, but the Spay River uh, has a lot of high trees on both banks. And uh, to fish it, you either do a spay cast or a double spay, which is done on the other side of the river. You bring the line up. That essentially is the, the motion. You bring it up back. The, the line per, <laughs> performs almost a figure eight in the air uh, and changes direction. Now I'll uh, show you the same, same technique with a smaller, with a 13 and a half foot rod. Now with the uh, 13 and a half footer floating line, quite a long leader, and I put on a, uh, a dry fly. A dry fly fishing for steelhead can be done in the traditional manner of floating a drag-free fly over the fish. The trouble is that in most rivers you can't see where the fish are and so you're fishing blind and, and it, you can really kill your arm casting over, over you know, fishless water for all day long. So you explore the same way that you, that you uh, wet fly fish and drag the fly. Notice the fly. Makes a little wake as it's going across the water. And that seems to be a great attractor for these big ocean, ocean going fish. And so there's just almost no effort in that. If you use the center between your top hand and bottom hand as a fulcrum, you can pick it up. There's almost no work at all. And the big advantage. Of, of, of being able to cast a long line in steelheading is only that there are certain lies that will be out in a particular part of the river. You know there's a holding rock and fish tend to hold around it and the only way you can reach it is with a long cast. Trout fishermen who get started steelhead fishing often have a problem understanding how to get the distance. Although a lot of them go to fly fishing schools and they're taught double hauling, uh, it's just not the same with trout tackle. 
with these lines, once you get the line extended to where the belly is past, the belly is all past the uh, tip of the rod, and you can pick it up and aerialize a little bit more, but the way you get line speed, the way you get line speed is by double hauling, and I will do it so you can see, it, haul, haul, haul back up with it, haul, and it increases the speed geometrically And the whole line that's been down there, I had about 35 feet of line, and it all just shot right out following the uh, leader. The thing about it is you have to get your mental state right so that you fish a portion of the river and, and as if it were a small stream. And uh, you're not trying to cover that whole darn thing. There's no way anybody can. But uh, these fish are, uh, are there, and it's, it, 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 and it's exciting to uh, Oh, it's not a personal river, but when you hook a big fish, it, it uh, you know, it's on your side then. There's nothing more exciting, absolutely nothing more exciting than to have a huge steelhead come up and roll. I see my fly and line for the first time. Roll and just make a kaplunk and you just see a big white break in the water and, and, uh, and he's grabbed your fly. The wild fish, 33 inches long. Bye bye, fish.